great pleasure to be here in front of uh, the stakeholders of ICT. For, for me, my business is not in ICT, but uh, I'm an entrepreneur and an SME. And the, the government of today, we need entrepreneurship. We need entrepreneurs because we need the entrepreneurs to fuel the economy of this country. So I'm here to share about my story, uh, how I've been able to build a startup, which is Shade Systems, to an international recognized company. Uh, first of all, my name is Eric Kinoti. I just turned 32 years old on 8th March, whereby I was launching my book called The Starting Point. You can, uh, let me market myself a bit. You can buy it, it's $10 www.erkinoti.com and buy the book. It's $10 and uh, you are able to download it. Uh, I started Shed Systems, East Africa Limited, about uh, seven years ago at the age of 25. But uh, how did I start this business? I started, uh, before then I was doing uh, egg business. By egg I, I mean I was working as a cashier in in, in North Coast, Malindi, in a hotel. But because I had a lot of time during the day, uh, I, I realized there was a gap of uh, poultry products like eggs and chickens. So I'll go, I'll go to hotels, ask for orders, and I get business uh, during the day. With my own. What I had was my bike and uh, not a registered company. At that, I learned a lot. And unfortunately enough, I came back to Nairobi after post-election violence. And I started uh, again hawking milk because I never wanted to look for. Because we had this mindset each and every time you need to understand yourself. For me, I have, I have a diploma in business administration. So if I, I, I was to look for a job, to be honest with you, I will not get a job because it's co so competitive. I thought of, let me, let me look for a need and fill it. So I started doing. Uh, milk business, whereby I'll, I'll go to these small hotels in city center, tell the business, the hotel owners that uh, we have a very big farm in uh, Kimende, but I've never even been to Kimende. So I'll go in the morning, uh, with, I'll wake up at 4 a.m., go to uh, Wangige with the two 20 containers, and by 7 a.m. I'll have made like uh, 2,000, 2,500. But there were so many challenges, because for me, I never had a mentor. The world has been my mentor. I thought of, I looked at money first instead of uh, creating the basics. So each and every morning you are running away from the Kanjo uh, city council because you don't have the licenses. So I thought it was not a good business. And uh, while, I, while I was doing it, one of the things we young entrepreneurs is greed. We are very greedy. So one day I was, as, as I was doing the biz, milk business, I used to buy it in a dairy farm in Kabete, and I met two women selling milk. So I thought, why should I, because uh, of the, ca the cost. Their cost was a bit lower than the dairy. When I bought the milk, took it to the, to the hotel, the milk was diluted with water, and my business was over. So I had to start again, started looking, uh, looking for work. But one thing I've, I've realized, we should not, when you are faced with challenge, let's learn from the challenges. For me, uh, that was a, another, ch another mistake, because because I faced that challenge, I started looking for a job again. When I got a job as a, cash, as a salesperson in Standard Chartered Bank, instead of, uh, I read, my passion is not to, to become employed, my passion is entrepreneurship. So while doing the, that sales job at uh, Stanchard, I was not happy. While, at, while, while I'm working, I'll run away, started looking for, for jobs, business opportunities. And I, I realized that there's so many opportunities in Nairobi, so many opportunities in this country. I started doing school supplies. I will go print a flyer, travel uh, to, other, to, to other towns, telling them that uh, we, uh, I'm a salesperson from this big company in Nairobi because one thing I've noticed this, uh, these towns which are out of Nairobi if you tell someone you come from Nairobi they just believe in you so I'll get orders, I'll get LPOs 
uh, and while doing that one day, because they believe that uh, sin was judged, we know everything. While doing it, someone asked me, I was in, I think in uh, Rongo, someone asked me, uh, by the way, do you know someone who can sell uh, a tent? Of course, an entrepreneur will not say no. I said yes, but I never knew where I'll get that, that tent. I came back to Nairobi, started looking for, I, do, I did a lot of research, and I, I realized there's a very big opportunity. Many people at that time were doing events. They were importing tents and uh, hire them out. And the people who were doing uh, manufacturing of uh, tents, they were not doing uh, manufacturing, they were importing again and selling. I thought to myself, why don't I challenge myself and start a company that does manufacturing of tents? Uh, and, uh, and I stopped doing everything. I stopped being a broker and focused on Shade System East Africa Limited. Uh, one of the biggest lessons I learned is we young entrepreneurs, we tend to look for big business opportunities instead of setting the right, the basics right. Like uh, while I was doing school supplies, I'll get a check and I don't have a bank account. I don't have even a business. The business name is not registered. So I realized, first of all, for me to, to be big, I need to set the basics right by, first of all, registering the company, being tax compliant, and you have to be strategic. This market, I've just started one year ago, I'll not look for government tenders, I'll not look for big NGO tenders. There's this gap of uh, private individuals and uh, private companies who will li listen to me, who will uh, pay in cash, so there'll, there'll be no problem of cash flow. Uh, why am I saying that? Because many of, many of us young entrepreneurs, we look at uh, capital as a challenge. But for me, your idea is your capital. Uh, why? Uh, because I, uh, when I was starting Shed System, my, my, my idea was I saw the opportunity that there's a big need for uh, tents solution and shed solution. And the only asset I had was to go look for market. I will go aggressively look for market, print flyers, go to wake up in the morning, go to uh, every estate, high-end estate looking for jobs. And when I get the business, I'll go and negotiate to, uh, to people who have money. There are people who have money, but they don't have ideas. I'll tell them, look, I have this order. Can you finance this order for me to be able to, uh, to, fi to finance it? And uh, at that, I realized instead of doing so many things, uh, I need to focus on only doing shed and uh, shed systems and tents. Because uh, we tend to do so many, we, I call it shiny, shiny penny syndrome. If you hear that there's a good business of quail egg, we run for that. If you hear there's a, any, any new business, we run to, to start that new business. Or I call it new toy, new toy syndrome, whereby you see a child, when he sees a, there's a new toy, he, wants an, he stops this and uh, he goes to the, the other toy. Uh, another lesson I've learned in, uh, in shared system is, as much as I'm not in line with the ICT, my marketing, uh, at the moment, I, I don't have sales people. I, I only have uh, people who, I use ICT, I use a lot of digital marketing. If you Google, Tents in Kenya right away, you will, my companies will come up. If I, I call it search engine optimization. I have really, really invested heavily on digital uh, marketing platforms. And honestly enough, you, ca it can, you cannot compare it with uh, above the line like TV. You can't compare it with any, 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 any other type of advertising because it has been so effective. In terms of my turnovers, and you are not running, you know, managing human resources is very hard. And uh, it has really, really worked hard, uh, good for me. After setting up shade systems, uh, I realized there was a, a need for bags. So many bags were being imported from Kenya, from China, and they were not, they were not durable. And from the remainings of, when I manufacture a tent, there was these remainings. Uh, of canvases and uh, PVC. So I normally make bags. I have a company called Bag Base Kenya, which whereby we manufacture all types of bags from school bags. And apart from just manufacturing a bag, we customize it according to the color of school uniform 
and we sell uniformity and durability. While doing the other business of uh, shade, many people will call asking for tents, and I'll tell them that uh, uh, we don't do hiring. But I've been pushed so much for people want to, I do tent hiring. So I started a company which was demand driven called Alma Tents Solutions Limited, which is uh, for hiring services, event solution services. And the final company that I have under the Shed Group company is uh, it's called Safi Sun Home Services. Being a bachelor, I will not look forward to go to my house. And I thought instead of, uh, I, 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 I hired out these mamanguos, and I saw a need. Why don't I professionalize mamanguo, whereby I take them to bachelors, families, and I'm paid by the end of the month. Uh, called Safi I call them, I don't call them mamanguos, I call them home support officers to massage their ego. <laughs> Yeah. So those are, those are the four companies, and uh, uh, being, being, I've learned a lot through the, this journey, and I thought for us to, to change the society, we don't need to be a political leader. We have this mindset. For us to transform this society, the other ways we can transform this country, and is by creating platforms, by mentoring. I started uh, something, a platform called Entrepreneurs Bootcamp, which I normally do do it by the end of the year out of the, the city's setup. And uh, I will be honest with you guys, uh, government, policymakers, there's a lot of disconnect. We need your support as entrepreneurs. Don't look at us as juakali. Yes, we are juakali, but you can co make us corporate by training us, capacity building. We don't need money. All we need is your support by believing in us. Why am I saying that? If I meet a lot of people you know, starting out, I will go to them and tell them uh, my company is called Shed System. The first question they will ask, who are the owners of this company? I will tell them the owners are from Australia. <laughs> yes, uh, so I'm just a salesperson. So for, for, for them to give you business, you have to tell them it's from a, a foreign country. Why don't we support our own? Uh, you have to tell them, if I meet a Patel, I have to tell them Mr. Shah is in Dubai. You can take his number. So I give them my other Zen number for him to give me business. Yeah? So uh, what we need from you is confidence. Why don't you be confident with us? Uh, give, we need confidence. We need you guys to support us. We don't need money. All we need is confidence. Buy Kenya, build Kenya.